Hello again. So uh, we will continue with the projectile motion, and now we will start solving a problem. Twelve eighty-five. Your book. It's page fifty-one. Page fifty-one. So, as you can see here, question says that it is observed that the time for the ball to strike the ground. Here's some guy who's trying to throw a ball, hmm? and some kind of sports. I don't know what that sport is. Anyways ball throwing spot probably so this guy is trying to throw this ball mm, and this ball is traveling this kind of path mm, from point a here here's point a and then it would be striking the ground at point b the total flight time is 2.5 seconds the question is asking is asking us to determine the speed va this speed, this VA, uh, we know it's, it's, it should be tangent to this curve, right? Much exactly the same uh, principles of a curvilinear motion should apply here. Uh, we know that VA is tangent to this line and A is acting to the uh, inside of this curve. So determine the speed VA and the angle theta A, so this angle as well, at which the ball was thrown. Now, what do we know? We know this distance, the X distance. We call this B4 as R, right? R, the range. Now we know the, the initial height, which is 1.2 meters from the ground. If we take the ground as our reference point. So the initial height or the initial uh, position in the y direction is 1.2 meters. And the final position here in the y direction is zero. So we know that y node equals 1.2 meters. We know that y final equals to zero. We know that the time is 2.5 seconds. And we know that the range is 50 meters. OK, what do we, know, what do we need to find? We need to find VA and theta. But you see, guys, VA is the resultant velocity. It's the resultant initial velocity. So now in order to find VA we have to find VA in the X direction or the X component of the velocity and we have to find the Y component of the velocity hmm? the initial ones okay that's what we know Y node and Y final T and R now we go back to our equations these five equations mainly four equations so we start with this one. This one says that x minus x node, right, which is r, equals v node in the x direction multiplied by the time. So rearrange this one. You get r equals v node in the x direction, the initial velocity in the x direction multiplied by the time. Now we know r and we know t. So we can find v node in the x direction. So V node in the x direction, which is VA here. So R is initial velocity or velocity at point A in the x direction multiplied by the time. We know that R is 50 meters equals the initial velocity in the x direction multiplied by the time, which is 2.5 seconds. So from here, you could solve for VA the x direction and this should give you a value of 20 meters per second 50 over 2.5 okay we're done with this one now we have to find the initial velocity in the y direction we go the vertical components now you check with the first one this is vy this is the final velocity in the y direction do we know that no we don't let's go here do you know why the initial position y yes we know why the final, this is the final position, sorry. Do we know the final position? Yes, it's zero. Do we know the initial position? Sure, we know it's 1.2 meters. V node in the y direction is, is uh, we, are we are required to know to, to find that. The time is known, and that's it. G is uh, acceleration due to gravity. So from this equation, you could find the initial velocity in the y direction, this one. And then you can find the resultant, and then you can find theta. So now you use this equation. Hmm? 
we say that y final equals y initial oh, just say, let's just say uh, y, y final is y at point b right so equals y at point a plus the initial velocity which is va in the y direction multiplied by the time minus half g t squared now yb oh, yb this is yb the final the final height zero equals 1.2 plus initial velocity in the y direction multiplied by 2.5 seconds minus half multiplied by 9.81 meters per second squared multiplied by the time squared 2.5 squared here if you solve for the velocity at point a in the y direction it would give you a value of 11.783 meters per second okay so we have the initial velocity in the x and in the y so now we need as the question was asking va va is the resultant which is the root mean square of the uh, square uh, summation of its square components so this is va x squared so 20 squared plus 11.8 783 squared. So now VA or the initial velocity is 23.1 meters per second. And if you if you need to find theta now, theta is basically tan inverse, the uh, y component of the velocity, sure at point A, right, over the x component of the of the velocity both. Point A. Now, if you just substitute for Vy and uh, Vx, you'll get a value of theta that equals 30.5 degrees. That's it. We're done. So, uh, I hope uh, we could get uh, a basic idea on how we, we could solve such kind of problems. Easy. Just write down what you know write down what you need to know and then think which equations we need to use in order to solve the problem thank you very much bye bye